Ja antaisinkin puheenvuoron nyt komissaari Malströmille. Olkaa hyvä. Thank you, Madam President. Another important uh, subject, uh, of course, of a slightly different kind. Honourable members, uh, thank you for this opportunity to contribute to the debate ahead of the vote on, uh, and, and on a resolution later this week. I am, of course, very concerned about the recent imposition of tariffs by the US on a range of our agri-food export. I know from direct contacts that you are too. This imposition by the US on tariffs on food and drink is a regrettable development. Although the US have formally the legal right to impose these tariffs, for a long, long time, the Commission has been engaging with the US to ask them to freeze or to suspend this in order to find a negotiated solution to the Boeing Airbus dispute. We made a credible offer in July for a negotiated settlement. As you know, this is an, a case that has been going on for many, many years. Unfortunately, this opportunity has not been taken up by the US yet. We believe that it's time to turn the page on this dispute and focus on de-escalating tensions rather than adding further uncertainty to a delicate world trade and economic situation. I hope that goodwill still will prevail. We are committed to find a solution which will keep trade flowing and workers on both sides of the Atlantic to be able to keep their jobs. And this has been the aim during my mandate and I'm convinced that Phil Hogan will continue these efforts. He will go to, the, to Washington in early New Year to engage and to continue to engage with members of the US administration. The four US, uh, EU member states where Airbus manufacturing is concentrated, UK, France, Germany and Spain, together with Italy and Ireland, account for 95% of the total food exports of the 3.5 billion uh, euros exposed to the tariffs. And the target products in order of magnitudes range from wines, spirit, liquors, daily products and olive oils. And these products are highly valued by US consumers and we hope that the demand for, from them will help resist price pressures. Addressing directly the calls made in your uh, draft resolution, there are measures available under the cup that could be used to mitigate the impact of sanctions in the market. Uh, we are reviewing the appropriateness of direct intervention at this stage because we have to take into account a number of considerations. For instance, we need to, dif to clearly distinguish between difficulties that are directly related to the US tariffs and those which are related to other issues. For instance, we recently introduced private storage aid for virgin olive oils in the EU, open for all uh, olive oil producing member states. The US tariffs have certainly aggravated a very serious situation, but the underlying reasons for the introduction of these measures are not directly related to the Airbus case. We also need to take account to the wide, uh, a wider development of the WTO in relation to the US measures, including the possibilities that the Boeing case will present later next year. But we remain uh, having the first preference of a negotiated settlement because thereby we would avoid damaging trade dispute and we would also provide a powerful signal to the world market that we want to keep world trade flowing. When it comes to the specific measures that we could take, promotion policy is often a very appropriate response to tariff sanctions, offering operators the possibility to consolidate the market or to retain their position on existing markets or even to seek new opportunities. And you mentioned this in your uh, resolution. Uh, and the recently adopted 2020 annual work program emphasizes promotion campaigns in third market by allocating almost two thirds of the available funding to them. That is 180 million euros. And in response to the concerns uh, expressed by some of you here uh, in relation to the US um, tariffs impact on wine, Commissioner Hogan last week uh, confirmed that he providing greater flexibility in the implementation and management of promotion op uh, operations seems to be an appropriate response to market disturbances which are likely to affect the wine sector. And this flexibility includes a proposal to increase the union financing rate for promotion to 60% instead of 50 today, which will alleviate the financial burden on producers. 
the commission has reacted rapidly to the urgency and seriousness of the situation and we hope that we can count on your support to ensure a smooth and swift adopted, uh, adoption of the required regulation so that this flexibility can be applied quickly to the benefit of our producers. Other than our promotion policy, the CAP toolbox also includes certain market management instruments such as private storages. Madam President, the Commission is aware that additional measures might have to be considered following the conclusions of the analysis that we are right now doing on the situation of the agriculture markets. We do this with the sectors and with the member states concerned. And where the analysis suggests, we are ready to activate exceptional market measures, including private storages. In the meantime, I want to assure you that this Commission and the incoming Commission, myself and my friend and colleague uh, Phil Hogan, will uh, do our best to find a negotiated, balanced, sustainable and compatible solution with the WTO rules and one that would put an end to the damage suffered by European farmers, including our wine producers. Thank you. Kiitos, Komissari Malmström. Ja nyt sitten siirrymme ryhmien puheenvuoroihin ja haluaisin ihan ensimmäiseksi antaa puheenvuoron EPP-ryhmälle. Ja sen käyttää edustaja Juan Ignacio Hoido Alvarez. Kaksi minuuttia, alkaa hyvä. 